Okay, so initially I didn't want to make this video, but then I saw the Reddit post about it and I thought, well, if people are going to know about this, it's better if they learn it from me with all of the caveats. Because yes, the corners bug is kind of being fixed, but you know, there's the kind of, and we need to talk about that. But to make sure we're all on the same page, let's see first of all what the corners bug is, because that's the one we're referring to. Both uh, what it means for the user and why it happens from a, a technical point of view. So you know when you, well, you can install third party decorations and some of it are like transparent and some of it support blur behind them. And there's even like third party Q styles which use blur. And sometimes in the top left and top right corners of uh, windows, you get that the blur isn't actually rounded. So you get a window, as an example, let's draw this is our window with the rounded corner. And then the blur is applied, of course, underneath it, but it's not actually rounded. So this part, you can see that it's blurred, but it's not covered by the decoration. So, well, it looks ugly. So what's going on? Okay, first of all, we have our window. Our window is drawn by the window. We don't care about that. The decoration, which is on top, is what interests us. The decoration is drawn by either the breeze decoration or a third party decoration, decoration system. So the default uh, decoration is breeze, of course, which is a good decoration in my opinion. And then there are third party decorations. Now those two, in order to actually work, have to go through a couple of APIs. There is, of course, the very uh, interesting name K decoration, two, I think. And then there's also Aurora. Aurora. I don't know how is that pronounced. And usually decoration, third party decoration actually rely on Aurora. So whereas Breeze is actually first party, doesn't have to go through all of that. So Breeze is opaque and there's no problem there, there's no blur going on. So the corners bug doesn't affect at all Breeze by default. Whereas third party decoration are where the issue is. Sometimes third party decorations are also opaque, but you still get the corners bug. And that's because the that particular third party decoration is not well done and it uses blur behind the decoration, even though it's opaque, so it shouldn't be necessary. So that's an issue of the decoration. But if you have a decoration that actually needs blur, well, you end up with this ugly blur area that isn't actually rounded. So you might say, okay, so the issue is within the blur effect. I've seen people saying, ah, KD developers implement the blur effect but cannot implement rounding. Okay, I actually no, the blur effect is just fine as is. The blur effect is perfectly able to round everything and you can actually see it. So, you know, if you take this, all of this stuff and you actually apply it to the plasma theme. So you've got an, as an example, kickoff, pretend this is kickoff. Well, the blur in this case is actually rounded, even for third party plasma themes and on Breeze as well, because Breeze does use blur. And why is that? Okay, so the blur effect, in order to know that it has to be rounded like this, needs a mask, at least a mask or at least like the radius. So of course the blur effect can't be rounded if it doesn't know by how much to be rounded. And I know that you've you've probably seen, if you're angry with the corners bug, this third party fix that should fix the blur. And what this third party plugin does, uh, well, it goes to the blur effect and says, hey, blur effect, please be rounded. Which is, as I've said, absolutely easy to implement. The issue is that that fix doesn't know by how much it should be rounded. And to do that, it just asks you, when you configure that uh, plugin, you need to insert manually the radius of your decoration. And maybe you don't know it, so it's not actually a fix, it's just a workaround, a hack, which is fine, of course, as hack goes, but, well, there should be a way, there should be a, a better fix. What uh, Plasma Theme do, uh, if you have seen my videos about the Plasma Theme, go see them. There is this weird rectangle which is rounded like this, and then it, it's all black on the inside, and this represents the window. And since this is rounded, 
this mask is given to the blur effect, which says, okay, so this is rounded, so I also got around the corners. As easy as that. And this is directly provided by the plasma theme. So what goes wrong instead here? Well, the issue is that the third party decoration should give this mask, which should be rounded, which then should be passed here, which then should be passed here, which then should be passed to the blur effect. And these are a lot of steps and we are lacking some of them. So the proposed fix is to add some of these steps. I think not all of them. I, I won't like pretend I know everything of the system. I just roughly know the structure and the issues with it, but I'm not a developer of Kwin. I know Plasma, not Kwin. So I'm trying my best. So the patch, uh, well, I'll show it later. But the idea is that the third party decoration should provide a mask or at least the corner radius. Right now, this fix that has been proposed uses just the radius. So, I mean, potentially this thing could have uh, custom masks, I like, I don't know, this, and then the blur effect would also use this custom shape here. So it would become something like this, and then this, and then this. Whereas this fix only proposes to use the radius, which is fine for 99% of the theme. Now, what's the catch? So here's the first, first one. If the third party decoration doesn't provide a mask or a radius, well, the bug is still going to be there. And as a matter of fact, right now, most of the themes don't actually, uh, well, all of the themes don't actually give a mask nor a radius because that opportunity wasn't there before, which means that all of the themes that currently have this bug will have it to be fixed. The nice thing is that it should be easy, I think, from a, a point of view of the actual uh, decoration developer. So it shouldn't take that long to update them, but if you're not maintained, well, you'll have to do it yourself, sadly. But now let's actually go see the merge request. I I'll stop drawing, I I'll just stop drawing. That's it. This is the merge request. Now we get a nice image that shows the bug. So you can see that there is the decoration, which is rounded. And then there is the blur, which is applied, but it's not rounded. And here as well, there is the radius and then the rectangle underneath. Then, thank you, Chrome. Then in the after image, you can see that, well, they're actually both rounded cor correctly. So that's what should happen. Right now, this is done by adding these four properties. Blue radius top left, blue radius top right, blue radius bottom right, and blue radius bottom left. So if you want a theme to actually support this, right now, which might not be the situation when this actually lands, if it lands, so I will update you. But if you were to use this fix right now, you would have to add these properties. This is an approach for Aurora engine to pub publish masks for it, its uh, decorated windows in order to avoid out of window blurring at the decoration corners. In more detail, each Aurora themes gains four new options in this configuration file that its designer can set, these four. So these are the five issues that are being worked upon to actually, well, before actually fixing or merging anything. The first one is that an alternative solution could be to provide a mask SVG like Plasma, which is what I was saying. Theoretically, this should be better uh, a better approach because as I've said, this means that third party could also use weird masks like, I don't know, octagons as an example. That's reasonable if you're doing some weird theme, I guess. But the issue with that is that some themes actually use like PNG, maybe QML, so it might potentially not work everywhere, but only in SVG based themes because Aurora also supports like uh, PNG images, QML, maybe, I don't know about that, but surely SVG. Now, in theory, this whole thing of actually passing the mask was accounted for, and it was accounted for in this decoration opaque SVG element. The issue that this is documented in these links, as this person says, says. Uh, this person, by the way, let's give them a lot of credit for uh, is, Psy for dev, oh, sorry, the, the name is a bit hard to pronounce, but it's Mitchell, uh, it's uh, 
Michel Vorlakas, the developer of Latadoc. So the developer of Latadoc is fixing this. So wow, just wow. And uh, as I was saying, in theory, this should uh, be accounted for in the property decoration opaque SVG elements. However, this is only in the documentation and it seems like it was never, never implemented. And the author, Meg Wrestling, doesn't actually work much on uh, Kwin anymore, so weird. Then the KDV VDG group must provide an Aurora theme that will confirm the accepted fix. This is because of some Aurora themes metrics are not very clear to me, so a designer should help, please. So we actually need to test. So by the way, uh, this may be important for you as well. If you know themes that are for sure affected by this bug, send me a link so I can check them out. And finally, KDecoration 2 must support first blur area for decor decorations. So as I said, this step might, miss, might be missing. In theory, this should work already and it should fix this bug. Finally, which is the blur effect applied to decoration shadows. And uh, it's only be open from like 2018, but I, I think it's older, I think it's older. That was about it. To summarize it up finally, yes, there is some work going on to fix the corners bug. And uh, well, maybe this won't be it. Maybe there's more work to do. So you shouldn't take it for granted that it will be fixed like in the next version for, of Plasma. It might require some work from the uh, decoration developers to actually implement this fix in their own themes. But there is some movement in actually fixing this, which is better than last week when nobody was working on it. And for these bugs, uh, these are quite technical and quite complex. So if nobody steps in and really tries to help, they will just hang there because it's not like somebody random like me can go and fix them because it requires quite some skills in Kwin at least. And not everybody has them. That's as easy as that. So a lot, a lot of thank yous to the Latterdoc developer for actually trying to fix this. And uh, as far as it goes for my channel, well, see you tomorrow.